We're now inside an Alma antenna. This is what's known as the receiver cabin. We're inside this antenna, its drives have been locked out with a safety mechanism so that we can come in safely. And this is where the receiving system of the Alma array sits. Each antenna has inside it one of these big blue cryostats. And this actually, the noise you can hear in the background is a mechanical refrigerator that's actually cooling the inside of this cryostat down to four degrees above absolute zero. That's sufficient to turn the superconducting detectors inside this cryostat into extremely sensitive receiving instruments that can detect the very, very faint signals from outer space that we'll look at with ALMA. Also inside this cabin are all the electronics that take the signal from this receiver and digitize it and transmit that back to the main building at the high site, the AOS building, so the signals can go into the digital correlator and we can actually form an image inside the computer. This front end serial number 08 is actually the second front end to be delivered from North America. The components inside are from the entire Alma partnership. The vacuum vessel itself was made in England. The uh, cold cartridges come from all over the Alma partnership, including uh, two from North America. But this is actually the second one that we've delivered from North America. This rack of electronics here contains all the so-called back-end electronics. This is a special screened rack that prevents any interference from getting into the electronics. And that actually then allows us to transmit the signals back to the central building. But when we're linking these ALMA antennas together, it's very important that we get the timing of the signals absolutely perfect. So we send a common reference signal to every antenna. That reference signal is transmitted optically down an optical fiber. And as the antenna tips in elevation, that fiber gets twisted and pulled. And that will be enough to actually destroy the signals that we're trying to detect, because the phase of the signal would vary as we tip the antenna. So this special mechanism here has been designed to actually allow the cable to be twisted in a very careful way without changing its phase properties at all. So that as the antenna moves, the cable actually uh, goes through a, a constant S bend and just slightly changes shape, but never actually twists. And it maintains the phase stability of the entire array. These kind of technologies have had to be developed across the whole of Alma to enable us to meet the requirements for the precision of this system, which are just incredibly hard. Ten years ago, that we thought this was impossible. Now we have solutions to all of these problems. And we've actually got closure phase at the high side demonstrating that these things actually work.